This video will share tips on how to rinse and properly dry your camera mask. After utilizing the camera mask in a lake, river, ocean, or chlorinated pool, always rinse with fresh tap water that is cool to the touch. During this process, it's important that you remove any salt, sand, or other debris such as dirt that may have accumulated around any crevices of the camera mask. Only use gently flowing water from your faucet. Never use any high pressure washer that might force water in through any crevices. After rinsing, allow the mask to soak for approximately five minutes. During the soaking process, it is a good idea to test buttons pressing each one multiple times. This will help to remove any debris or salt that has accumulated around each button crevice. A buildup of salt can cause corrosion over time, so it is important in the rinsing process to remove all salt particles. Use a soft dry cloth and gently go over all of the crevices and parts of the camera mask. It is important to make sure that no drops of water are on any part of the camera mask prior to opening any compartments. You may also use a piece of tissue to remove any small traces of water that may exist around the caps or any crevices of the camera mask. This will help to ensure that you've removed all water prior to opening any compartments. Small amounts of water may also collect around the buttons, so be sure to dry those as well. It is good practice to make sure that you are also clean and dry prior to opening any compartments. Water from your hair or temples or hands may easily drip into compartments. Now you are ready to check the compartments to make sure that they are dry. As you open the compartments, use a tissue to remove any remaining debris or small drops of water that may be caught in the threads. The last line of defense in waterproofing your camera mask memory compartment is the drip guard. Gently remove the drip guard once you are sure that there is no water or debris around the compartment. 